to Sarah. Madam Next. Chair, I appeal the decision of the chair in ruling that we can throw people out or have them discontinue videoing without them being disruptive or in any way impinging the progress of this meeting. I believe that is a blatant First Amendment constitutional uh, violation. Um, I totally support maintaining order of this room, but in four years, I've never seen somebody told they couldn't do a video as long as they were being respective and quiet, not disrupting the meeting. Parents do it all the time in here. To be able to pick and choose who you want to be able to do it is completely unconstitutional. That was not my picking and choosing. The The witness who was here was uncomfortable with him doing that. Witnesses don't get so, to determine other people's constitutional rights. Member Donnelly. Point of information, Madam President. Yes. I'm not, uh, I don't recall the chair making the ruling that's being referred to. Um, I, I did not make that ruling. Okay, so I, I would I would ask that we return to orders of the day, please. So did you or did you Mem not instruct the security? You did you or did you not no, instruct I the security not. to tell the individual to discontinue videotaping? I'm over here, the security's over there. No, I did not. Okay, so we do not have a policy and we're not going to ask people to stop parents or anybody else to stop videotaping unless they're disrupting the meeting. And we're not going to do it just because one other person doesn't want it to happen. One other person? Yeah, a witness or anybody else. It has to Member be a, Donnelly. a reason. So your point is well taken. We are going to continue this meeting. And if you have other issues with what just happened, we can talk about it at another time, Mr. Well, Donnelly. Well, I'd like to know how we're going to proceed. Because we are going the chair to proceed is just going to tell anybody, usual. anytime that somebody feels uncomfortable, you're not going to be able to videotape. I got a real concern with that based on the Constitution of the United very States clear. of America, the it First Amendment. Clear. It is very clear that you do. We are continuing with the business of the board. I appeal the decision of the chair and I maintain my appeal. We are continuing with the business of the board. Point of order, Madam Chair, when there's appeal, a decision of the chair, you need to vote on it. <laughs> Madam Chair, point of order. Point of order. What I is would, your point? I, I maintain that I did not hear the chair make the ruling in question, so I'm not sure how I can vote on the uh, appeal of the chair. Thank you. Is there anybody else that wants to have a conversation in this. I did not ask anybody to leave. I was re responding to the, 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 the citizen who was uncomfortable. She talked to him. I never spoke to the security person. And we will allow the gentleman to testify if he so chooses. That is the point of order. It is there. The point of order was the chair instructing security to have somebody discontinue videoing. How and many? they were doing so in a non destructive manner. What I'm saying, sir, Mr. Donnelly, is I, why are you attributing, attributing that to me? I did not. Because that's exactly what happened. Five minute recess.